pi. Let us learn about adjectives and their types through this presentation. In this presentation, we are going to deal with the concept of adjectives as well as their various types. So first, let's proceed to know what are adjectives. So what are they? What is the concept all about? Now look at this picture and we are going to analyze the difference between the two passages that are based on this picture. Please read these passages very carefully because you have to spot the difference. Now I shall read the first one. This is a scene of a village. It is morning and the sun is up. Here we can see a river and trees. There are houses surrounded by flowers. There are also birds in this village. Now look at the second passage. This is a beautiful scene of a little village. It is a bright morning and the sun is up. Here we can see a calm blue river and many lush green trees. There are few houses surrounded by colorful flowers. There are also some birds in this lovely village. Okay, so what's the difference? Well, the difference is here. Look at all the underlined words. This is the difference between the two passages. There are some words added in the second passage. Now, what are these words? The words beautiful, little, bright, calm, blue, many, lush, green, few, colorful, some, lovely. These all make the difference to the description of the elements in the passage. And that makes the second passage more beautiful. So now let's see what is the function of these words. Now, if there are the, if you see the second column, there are nouns. And if you see the first column, these are words which are describing those nouns. So, beautiful describes scene, little describes the village, bright describes the morning, calm blue describes the river, many lush green describes the trees, few describes the houses, colorful adds more sense to the word flowers, that is it adds more information about the word flowers, some gives us more information about birds, Lovely gives more information about the village. So these are all words. If you see in the first column, these are all describing words. They give us more information about the nouns in the passage. So these words are called adjectives. Adjectives are words that add to the meaning or give more information about a noun or a pronoun. For example, if I say it is beautiful, now, the word beautiful is telling us more about the pronoun it. So, adjectives also qualify a pronoun. So, this is the concept of adjectives. Now, we shall proceed to learn about the types of adjectives. Now, if you see here, there are in all six types of adjectives. We shall see them one by one in this presentation. So, let's begin. First, we'll deal with adjective of quality. So let us see. Now, if you see here, the word quality itself tells us what to expect. Now, let's look at the following sentences. This is a long road. To identify the noun here, we know that road is a noun. And let's see what is the word that is describing the road. Well, it is long. Now, look at the second sentence. The food they serve is delicious. So which is a noun here? Food. And the word that is describing the noun is delicious. Now, these words long, delicious, etc. tell us what kind of the noun it is. So, therefore, this is called adjective of quality. The word long tells us what kind of road and the word delicious in the second sentence gives us more information about the noun food. Hence, the words long and delicious are adjectives of quality because they describe the characteristics of nouns or pronouns and they answer the question what kind of, which or who. Let's go on to the second type of adjective, adjective of quantity. Look at the following sentences. Pour some milk into the glass. So the noun we already know is milk but now what is describing the word milk is the word some. Definitely, it is not talking about quality. Now, the next one, let's read. We had adequate rainfall. Now, here too, the noun is rainfall. But what is the describing word? 
adequate. Now these words, they are not telling us about the quality, but they are telling us about the quantity. But we ought to remember one thing, if we notice here, the word milk, that is the noun milk and rainfall, they are uncountable. And this is extremely important because we are going to do the next type which is different from this and usually there is a confusion between adjective quantity and number. So now we let's understand, sum tells us how much of the uncountable noun, milk. Adequate tells us about the amount of the uncountable noun, rainfall. Now what's the meaning of countable, uncountable? We have done it in nouns, okay. Countable would be where you can put the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, etc. before the noun and it makes sense. But here you don't say 1 milk, 2 milk, 3 milk. You don't say 1 rainfall, 2 rainfall, 3 rainfall. So therefore, these words are uncountable nouns and this which is signifying the amount of that uncountable nouns is called adjectives of quantity. Okay, so now this is important uncountable noun. So we go on to the next type which is adjective of number. So now let us see what is adjective of number. If you notice here in these sentences, I have used the same adjectives in, uh, as was there in the preceding slide. I need some pencils. So the noun is pencils and the adjective here is some. Okay, there are adequate, okay, adequate chocolates in the box. Chocolates is noun and the descriptor is adequate. So what's the difference between the preceding slide and this? Well, here the difference is in the nouns. As I told, earlier slide had uncountable nouns, but this slide has pencils, which is a countable noun, which you can say one pencil, two pencil, three pencils, two pencils, three pencils. Here chocolates also you can count one chocolate, two chocolates, three chocolates. So therefore, these adjectives that are there before these nouns, these adjectives are not adjective of quantity, but they are adjective of number because they are before a countable noun. They, because they are before countable nouns, they become adjective of number. Okay, <clears throat> so some and adequate, both of them are telling us about the amount or how many of the countable nouns. So therefore, they are adjectives of number. Let's go on to the different types of adjectives of number, numeral adjectives. For that, let's look at the following sentences. I have few pencils with me. So, which is the adjective here? Few. Pencils is countable now. So, few is not telling me exactly how many pencils. So, this is indefinite numeral. Let's look at the next one. I have six pencils with me. Now here, pencils also is countable, but here I definitely know the number of pencils. So it is the definite numeral and it's called a cardinal because it is definitely a number. Now look at the opposite of this. I mean opposite in the sense it is definite, but then it is not cardinal. It is telling you about the position of a person or an individual or anything in a sentence. So that is definite numeral, yes, but it is the ordinal. It is going to tell you about the order in which the thing is or the noun is. So he was first in the race. So first is definite numeral, but ordinal. Every pencil is sharpened. This is the third type of numeral adjective, wherein you can see here every. So it is distributed. The pencil has been now, there could be many pencils, but then each pencil is spoken about. So, every pencil, it is distributed, it is divided. Okay, every pencil is sharpened. So, this is distributive numeral adjective. One more example. He gave each child a pencil. Each. So, each is also a distributive numeral. So, these are all the examples of numeral adjectives. Now we move on to the next one that is demonstrative adjective as shown by the symbol there. It is all about pointing out. So let us see what these adjectives are. Look at this person 
okay pointing out to a house and he what he has to say that house is mine he's pointing out to that house and says that house is mine okay now look at this person also he's pointing out to some trees and he says look at those trees so what are the nouns here we know okay the noun is house and the word that is used to point out is that in the second sentence the word used to point out is those and what's the noun you're pointing out to which noun trees now it's very important to pay careful attention here that these words which are in boxes that is adjectives they are immediately followed by nouns it's very very important here and these words are called demonstrative adjectives that is that and those because they show pointing out therefore they are called demonstrative adjectives so other examples are this these such yonder okay so these are all pointing out adjectives or demonstrative adjectives now we next move on to the interrogative adjective as you see it's all about asking questions but about the noun so let's look at the sentences first sentence whose house is that so the noun we know is house but the question asked on the house is whose so that is the adjective look at the second one which pen do you want so the noun we know is pen and the one word which is asking question on the pen is which so such words whose which etc they ask questions on the noun they are called interrogative adjectives now the one thing also we should understand here too these words are immediately followed by nouns and this is absolutely essential especially for these last three that is demonstrative interrogative and also the next one the nouns have to follow these words otherwise they take on another part of speech that we shall see in another slide okay so these are interrogative now we come to the last type of adjective that is possessive adjective which shows possession or belongingness it belongs to someone okay look at these sentences now based on this football and these this team so this is their football okay so football is the noun and the adjective mark is their whose football their football so it is telling us about the possession of the football your laptop is really efficient so whose laptop laptop is a noun whose laptop is efficient your laptop is efficient again possession so your is showing possession they are your these words they are showing the possession or who possesses that noun so these words are possessive adjectives and they are also used very careful attention please they are also used along with the nouns that is the nouns immediately follow them and it is absolutely essential in these three types now that we finished all these types of adjectives especially for the last three types here comes the next slide for greater clarification take a close look at the following examples the first column are adjectives but the second column they are not adjectives but pronouns now why let's see the first sentence i like these mangoes so there is a noun immediately following this word these so they become demonstrative adjective it is demonstrative adjective but here after these there are there are no or there is no noun so it is not an adjective rather it becomes a demonstrative pronoun demonstration yes it points out but it is not an adjective but it's a pronoun similarly in the next one whose book is this here there is the word book next to it so whose becomes interrogative adjective but here in this column whose is not followed by the word book so this is an interrogative pronoun similarly in the third one this is his painting so there is a word painting which is a noun immediately after the word his so his is a possessive adjective because there is a noun following it 
But when does it become pronoun? This painting is his. The word his becomes a pronoun when there is no noun followed by it. Because nouns and pronouns cannot be together. Pronouns are words used instead of a noun. So we cannot have them both together. So here, the above three types are all adjectives and they have to be necessarily followed immediately by a noun. And when they are not followed by a noun, the same words become pronouns and not adjectives. Now, to summarize, if you look at this, uh, there is a mind map or a chart prepared. We will just summarize that. Take a good look at this summarization. All types of adjectives, six types are here with a summarized information about each type. So that's it. Thank you very much for your attention.